Uh, welcome to the session here, such a big stage. That's my 12 KubeCon talk. I still feel excited, also nervous too. By the way, there are no fancy animation and photos as previous talks. I still hope you won't find it too boring. So I'm Yuan Chen from NVIDIA. A uh, quick uh, disclaimer, all the contents and opinions are personal, not representative of my former and current employee. And the analysis made some simplified assumptions may contain the mistakes. Okay, so as we all know, and uh, training large language models is expensive, but the model inferencing and model serving is expensive too. To some extent, it could dominate the overall cost for the following reason. One is not everyone needs to train their model from scratch. They can find Q existing model. Secondly, and uh, the model serving, right, also need to access a large number of the model parameters and also demand and very high performance low latency. Finally, a lot of applications and model serving like chat GPT, right, and they have to handle a very large and the volume of the user request. So here is a backup envelope estimate and I did based on public available data. So firstly, and from the number of users, right, like chat GPT, we have like the 100 million of the active users per week. If we assume every user make five requests, total is 71 and the million of the request. Also assume and uh, each request cost one cent. The total cost, the daily operation cost is about $700,000. And another perspective we can look at the cost is from the server performance perspective. For example, A100 and how many requests that they can handle. Then we assume, right, how many in the, the A100 GPU we need. Finally, based on some of the public and uh, the cloud, uh, the GPU cloud cost, right? Like every hour is $2. Then the cost is about $1 million. Again, those numbers have never been verified. And uh, I hope they are not far from the truth, at least in the same ballpark. But uh, the key takeaway is the model serving and model inferencing is expensive. So another thing I want to see is also the performance is critical, right? Compared to internet service like search, Google search, we are talking about the latency in the range of the hundreds of milliseconds. But today, all this and the large language model, chat GPT, generative AI is still seconds, tens of seconds, even minutes. There are large of room or space we need to improve. So if we look at the large and or big picture, right? We run the AI workload in GPU and the clusters. It basically is a different, uh, diverse workloads, right? From model training to serving to the CI, CD, to visualization interactive on heterogeneous network. But one thing I want to highlight here is how can we improve the efficiencies? NVIDIA already and uh, offer the different and the GPU and the sharing technology from the multi-process sharing to time slicing to multiple instances of uh, uh, the GPU, also the virtualized the GPU. That's something we should take advantage and to improve the efficiency. Okay, so in terms of the, how can we improve that model serving? And I think the following aspects, right? We need more and efficient on the workload and the scheduling algorithm from advanced scheduling and resource sharing and job management. Of course, the machine learning and the AI community also working on improvement and uh, optimization technical, like smaller models and model compression, technicals like the continuous batching. Of course, finally, we should continue to improve the hardware performance. So to summarize and conclude my talks, the model serving or uh, inferencing is critically important. Uh, I want to see, and just like Google and the other internet company, right, the pioneer, the distributor, large scale system for the internet service and the search. Today, we need a scalable, efficient, and fault tolerant and the cloud native solution for the emerging AI workload. Specifically, I think there are major opportunities in the cloud native resource management solutions. There are nine talks from NVIDIA about how to improve the AI workload on GPU clusters, all this new device driver, technology, GPU sharing. 
Tomorrow, the first, we start with my colleague Kevin and uh, uh, Sanjay about the GPU acceleration, GPU sharing. Please come to our sessions and uh, learn more about accelerating AI workload using the NVIDIA and the hardware technologies. Thank you very much. Bye.